Now, as alluded to earlier, there are a number of theorems that would be proven in a stochastic processes class, but instead, here are two of them that are simply going to be stated uh, that are used when working with Poisson processes. Here's the first one. This says for a Poisson process with rate lambda, the time of the nth event has probability density function that looks like this. So notice this distribution has two parameters and those two parameters are lambda, which is the rate of the Poisson process and n, which is the event number you're interested in. This distribution is well known. It is a special case of the gamma distribution, which is known as the Erlang distribution. Here's a second theorem, and this is something that is known as superpositioning. Let's say you have two independent Poisson processes with rates lambda 1 and lambda 2, whose event times are combined together, that is superposition, to form a Poisson process with rate lambda 1 plus lambda 2. This generalizes to more than two Poisson processes. For example, we could have three independent Poisson processes with rates lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3. When you combine those together, you get a Poisson process with rate lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3. And that's the picture that we have down here. Now here are three time axes, and this first one has a rate lambda 1, this is a Poisson process, this has a rate lambda 2, and this has a rate lambda 3. If you have an ice cream shop, these events could be arrival, arrivals of, say, men, the second axis could be the arrivals of women, and the third axis could be the arrival of children to the ice cream shop. When you combine all of those together, you get the superposition, and in this case, the superposition is what the ice cream shop sees in terms of customers of all types arriving. And it turns out that also will be a Poisson process. And if you want its rate, all you have to do is add these three rates right here.